terms of the housing deficit, like when you hear the numbers, you hear maybe there's a 17 million housing deficit in Nigeria. And so let's say that's the demand for housing. And on the supply side, I don't think we build 7,000 houses a year across board, affordable housing. What we have is a situation where there's a lot of people that would love to own homes, but we're not building houses quick enough and efficiently enough for you to be able to meet the demand. And if it's taking you, for example, uh, two years to complete a project that you borrowed money from the bank at 30%, it means that compounded interest is giving you, what, 60% on top of the amount of money you borrowed. So there's no way you can sell cheap houses. So that's the reason why we went for the prefab system, because I can build a three-bedroom bungalow in five days. In that same home, you get two solar panels, depending on the size, either 320 watts or 250 watts panels. You get a small lithium battery inside the building that can also be metered. And that simple system with an inverter on top of the lithium powers your lights, your fan, your television, your charging for your basic stuff, including your phone, your radio, whatever it is, and then a fridge. What it means is every day, during the day at least, whether there is national grid or not, you have light. And at night, you have six hours of backup battery time. The prefabricated means that the, the engineering of the building has been pre-designed for you to be able to disassemble and relocate if you want to. What we call our temporary structure is actually being adopted as a permanent home for people in Nigeria. 